collect these old postcards and I would look at these incredibly vibrant scenes of a city that's doubling in size every six or seven years. It's like this boom town on steroids. These are the postcards of his hometown that inspired beautiful ruins author Jess Walter to take readers back to the Spokane of 1909. I wanted to write about this moment when really the eyes of the world were on um, the labor battles in the Northwest. The Cold Millions is about two vagabond brothers, Rye and Gig Dolan, who get swept up in the real-life demonstrations that erupted in Spokane. As members of the IWW, the Industrial Workers of the World, or Wobblies, demanded better working conditions. What happened next was riot and brutal treatment by the protesters by the Spokane Police Department. 500 people jailed. Some of them ended up dying. The brothers meet true life characters, like 19-year-old labor activist Elizabeth Gurley Flynn. She's not the protagonist of the novel, but she's kind of the hero. The Cold Millions isn't the first novel that you have set in Spokane. What is it about your hometown? What is the appeal? I think that appeal has changed over time. Now I find it odd that we equate um, a poor town with a bad town. Like, um, it seems like a kind of snobbery to me um, when in fact, I think there's something morally good about a place where a teacher can afford a house. A great river churns through the heart of this city where Jess spent years researching the novel, finding no shortage of links between the past and present. We live at a time in which the gap between the wealthy and the poor has never been like this since 1909. How did that happen? Why did it happen? The novel also honors Jess's own working class roots. Both of my grandfathers were itinerant workers in the 1930s, jumping on trains and going from town to town looking for agricultural work. The Cold Millions visits another desperate era when our nation faced a growing chasm between rich and poor. What I think a lot of people don't understand is how close America came to a class war in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Mm -hmm.